I get my name from my dad, who gets his name from his dad, so technically I'm the third and he's junior. He had his own business, he never worked for anybody, he never borrowed a dime in his life. He put six children through private school and private college and uh, made no fuss about it. As I've become an adult and a father myself, I couldn't be prouder. He's 84 and he's as sharp as ever and uh, I'm a lucky man to have him as dad. My dad is the perfect example of like what a great man is. He's just been a great example for me my entire life, just always there for me. You couldn't ask for a better dad. Now he was a little protective when I was growing up though. He was very protective, but I learned that him being that way actually helped develop me into who I am today, so I appreciate that. And I honestly think that I have the best dad in the world. I wouldn't trade him for anything. I love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. My dad always did his best to work hard to provide for the family. Unfortunately, Dad passed away uh, six years ago, but he was my right-hand man. And uh, every Father's Day, every day, not just Father's Day, I, I miss him. I love him and, and wish he was still here because that laugh uh, that he had when he called on the phone uh, to either harass me about a Redskins game or whatever it was, it's something you always remember and always keep with you in your heart. Everyone's like, so what's your dad's name? I'm like, Lair Bear. That's just always what we've always called him. My dad is probably one of the most caring men I have ever been around in my life. And I am just so thankful for him being with me and being every step of the way. Now I'm gonna cry. And I love my grandparents. And I'm just blessed beyond belief to have had these incredible men in my life. And all three of them are still with us. And that is something to be proud of and to cherish. It's been 13 years since my dad passed. And every day I think about him, uh, the things that he would say, his quietness about him, and just the calmness that he had. In fact, my mom used to call, call me the diamond in my dad's eye. Father's Day is always so very difficult for me because I just miss my dad and I just love my dad. I'm a daddy's girl and my dad has taught me true love and loyalty. He's the most loyal guy you will ever meet. You've heard the phrase, give you the shirt off your back. My dad would give you his entire closet. He would go to the ends of the earth for someone that he really cares about and sacrifice things for himself along the way. He is always there. He's always there. My family moved from Venezuela to the United States when I was about eight years old. There were days where, you know, kids would make fun of you and my dad was always like, Psh, you know, don't pay attention to that. You do you and, you know, from a very early age, he taught us to be proud of who we were and he taught us, taught us to be confident and I think that he should know that um, I appreciate everything he's done for me and my brother and um, I wouldn't be here without him. I consider my dad the ultimate measure of a man when it comes to the word sacrifice. Um, he sacrificed so much for the country that he loves as he was in the military. He also sacrificed a lot to provide for my sisters and I. My dad's recovering from a mild stroke this year, so um, it's been an interesting uh, past few weeks. You know, it's, it's definitely a thankful Father's Day just to have him here with us again. I can remember many Saturdays and Sundays when my friends were out playing football or doing something. I had a rake in my hand and my sister was right next to me and we raked and raked and raked. We would complain to my dad and my dad would say, it builds character. Where do I get uh, my sense of humor? Uh, believe me, it's hereditary. My dad is a big jokester too. Anywhere you go, look out. My dad's going to pull a practical joke, he's going to tell a joke and he's going to take over the room. That's you know, one of those over the top personalities. Maybe he should get into TV news too. Well, I'm incredibly lucky. Life has brought me two amazing fathers. I have Al and I also have John. Al passed away in December and it is very hard every day. There is not a day that goes by that I don't think about him. 
Um, a great memory with John would be grilling out. We are grill masters, but life has blessed me with two incredible father figures. 